A beautiful morning to you. This is Housing Development, a program that answers all your questions on housing matters. I am your housing diva, Fleur Annie. Coming up on the program, Federal Housing Authority set to go digital to curtail real estate scam. Plus, Nigerians narrate their experience with real estate scammers on voices on the streets. This and more will be coming up on the program right after the trending news in the sector. The federal government and all states of the federation have adopted rent-to-own schemes as an alternative funding strategy to bridge the country's 17 million housing deficits. The government has also warned landlords and property owners against the exploitative practice of collecting advance rent from tenants in excess of one year, directing all state governments to enact law to criminalize such practice. These decisions were contained in a six-page report of the 10th meeting of the National Council of Lands, Housing and Urban Development held in Lagos between October 18 and 21, 2021. The council comprises the federal government, 36 states of the federation, and the Federal Capital Development Authority, FCDA, under the chairmanship of the Minister of Works and Housing, Mr. Babatunde Fashola. Abuja International Housing Show, AIHS, the largest housing and construction show, has launched an all-students housing membership club to build next-generation housing, real estate, and mortgage leaders. The chief executive officer of FESADEP Group, Organizers of AIHS, Festus Adebayo, stated that the Next Generation Real Estate Leaders Club is an initiative that will serve as one of its social responsibility of not just reducing unemployment in the country, but also empowering young Nigerians to be hardworking, independent, and successful. Adebayo added, that this institution of the Student Membership Club will help to bring real estate to the level of students who may want to develop a career in this area. He therefore enjoined Nigerian students, home and abroad, to avail themselves of the opportunity and to become members. He revealed that AIHS will partner with selected higher institutions and organizations in Nigeria to financially support this so that the contents and opportunities are free to all students. A Boeing State Governor, David Umahi, has expressed readiness to build three bedroom flats and nine self-contained apartments across the 13 local government areas of the state to help address the issue of housing deficit among officers and men of the Nigeria Police Force, seven in the state. This, according to the state government, was part of Governor Omahi's effort to reposition the force for effective and efficient policing across the nooks and crannies of the state. The special security consultant to Ebony State Government, Chief Stanley Okoro Emega, revealed this while inspecting some of the ongoing projects at Owutu Eda community in the Afiikbo South Local Government area of the state on Wednesday. The governor is putting in place accommodations for the divisional police officers who will make use of the three-bedroom flats while the junior officers will reside in the self-contained apartments. The buildings are in the 13 council areas on different levels of completion. He further stated that the government will also furnish the buildings with state-of-the-art facilities before handing them over to the beneficiaries in the next few months to come.
can read the full details of the headline news and more on www.africanhousingnews.com. Moving on, now let's face it. The rental world is not immune to scammers. In fact, you might have had your own experience with a rental scam or heard stories from friends, families and co-workers about theirs. Now share your experience with us on the social media handles displayed on your TV screen. Let's watch as some Nigerians narrate some experience. Personally, I've not been scammed, but um, I've been, you know, with people that uh, have been scammed. And I know how the situation is out there. It's very brutal. Understand? People are, I think it all has to come down to, people are just only after the money. They're not actually after satisfying the people. I've not been scammed before, but uh, I do know that it's actually very hard to get houses these days. And I think also one of the reasons why people get scammed is because the agents that actually help them get houses. I don't know if they have an association or anything. I mean, anybody can just come up and say, I'm an agent. Personally, I have not uh, experienced it myself, but I do have um, clientele. I do have clients who have, who I'm handling their matters, who have had such experiencing experience you know regarding these um scam issues because uh, it's really unfortunate that someone would invest huge amounts of monies and then at the end of the day he doesn't get um return or satisfaction for his money spent my in-law has been scammed he bought land in abuja here i think in napo and then um, after sometimes they they, they 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 seize the land from them and then they say they don't to compensate them I think for more than 10 years now, the whole thing has gone. I have somebody who is close to me presently now, he's going through such an issue. He paid off a money of a, an apartment, hoping that maybe when the month comes to an end, he will pay the final balance of it. And before he could know, they have given the house to somebody. His father, the money he has paid before for a deposit has not been refunded to him, and the house has not been given to him in another way. What I think the government should do is they should try and build housing that no income earners could be able to afford and is, uh, assess it. Because if you look at the rate of housing built today, the low income earner could not go close to those houses. Because of if you hear their prices, they are something skyrocketed that you cannot go close for. We need the government to come in and actually, um, how am I going to put it, actually try to make things easier for we the common man because real estate currently, housing development programs, they are not really working for the common man, they are only serving the elite. If the government can, you know, try and help and make, maybe the agents can have an association where they are recognized and before you go about uh, engaging someone as an agent, it should be from you know someone that you you can trust maybe with certification and all I think that will help in you know reducing the level of scam in the old country and all. Yeah government is supposed to have um, like a kind of office whether from the federal capital development uh, authority or the federal housing authority FHA they should have an, a department where complaints of this can be lodged and where investigations regarding these matters can also be carried out. Government should come into this situation. People are being scammed in this town. We're in Abuja city here. They lost a lot of money. You see somebody selling land to two or three people, collecting money and all of those things. So this issue is, is critical and I don't think it's good. So I think government should step into issue and then help a lot of people in this uh, situation. Voices on the street there, everyone has a tale to tell when it comes to real estate and rental scam. But then, how do we cop fraud cases in real estate? The cloning of land documents, double or multiple land allocations, allocation of land without the minister's approval, revocation of land title without due process, non-delivery of projects, embezzlement of sourced capital, 
land racketeering, the use of land syndicates and speculators, the marketing of fake layouts, fraudulent allocation of land, inordinate delay in processing of land documents for those who subscribe to their projects, general abuse of office, bribery, dishonesty, fraud, payment scams, or the refusal of government itself to pay fair value for acquired land, and the concomitant refusal of settlers and traditional owners to give access to legitimate land allotties and other related issues and challenges. Aside from the petitions received by the Commission, there are other noticeable problems of real estate development in Abuja, in particular in Nigeria as a whole. This includes generally the high cost of home acquisition, the unstable capital market, environmental, social, and governance factors, currency volatility, increased rural to urban migration, ineffective property protection laws, perceived multiple tax and poor building quality, etc. While some of these challenges may be tackled by legislative and ex executive laws and policies, others are strictly based on the interplay of economic forces. I'm not unaware, of course, <clears throat> by some stakeholders for laws to compel house owners to collect monthly rent rather than sometimes annual or two-year rent. Now, while this will be in line with economic realities of potential tenants, because nobody gets their salary one year in advance, people get their salaries monthly. Uh, nevertheless, past experience shows that such laws are not enforceable, as they can easily be undermined by the parties as demand for housing outstrips supply. Therefore, government should focus on introducing policies to encourage massive home production, infrastructure and incentives, and effective law enforcement to positively impact home production through public and private partnerships. I can tell you that legal state has such a law, and it is not working anyway. Everybody just pretends about it. In addressing some of the issues raised in, this peti in the petitions that are forwarded to ICPC, we have at different times had successfully investigated and prosecuted some errant public officers and their collaborators, including staff of the Federal Capital Development Authority, staff of civil defense, persons who abuse public trust, fraudulent real estate development uh, operatives, and other uh, ancillary people and we have further deepened, who have further deepened the mass housing gap in the FCT. Our investigations have led to recovery of assets and funds, which are either considered to have been diverted, that were retrieved in the public interest. In some situations, we've simply ensured that the projects that were contemplated were delivered to the beneficiaries who had paid for them as vehicles for hiding ill-gotten wealth and money laundering. Public officers acquire estates in pseudo names to conceal illegal origin of funds. This is made possible by the absence of proper documentation, the registration of titles to land and estates to the country, and the non-enforcement of beneficial ownership standards. How to lift the veil and say who is, who is behind this uh, company? What's their track record? Because some are serial fraudsters and they are unrepentant and they mutate like COVID-19. So you, you defeat them on, in, in one project, they mutate and create another scheme because they have insiders who are facilitating their nefarious activities. We think that a more focused and more uh, rigorous uh, due diligence on the part of the FCDA will reduce the opportunities for charlatans to get into the sector. Whether you're renting or buying, real estate can be a tricky business. And in today's technology-saturated world, scams seem to strive in real estate market. Rental scams are executed by criminals in a variety of ways, but the goal is the same. Milk potential tenants out of much money as possible. Now with a myriad of sketchy scams awaiting eager buyers and renters, it is important to always be vigilant, exercising skepticism and avoiding suspiciously attractive offers is a great place to start. Let's go for a short break. I'll be back. 
What if I told you you could fight paradise in the Niger Delta? What if I told you you could fight real estate that you desire that is world class in the Niger Delta? And I tell you, look no further. The Plantation City Estate Development by Delta Mega Trends Nigeria Limited is just what you need. They've got a well structured and smart building plans, 24 hours uninterrupted power, constant water supply, 24 hours pharmacy, a bank, a shopping mall, lounges, well secured entrance, automated gate, access road, police station, well paved roads, street light, fantastic green areas, green ambience, park for adults and children and a good spot for customer service support and it's just amazing that all of this is happening in the niger delta in otoputu Wari delta state where you have instantly about 18 percent return on investment for every property you buy hurry today and be part of the paradise going on in the niger delta by calling these numbers 0802-808-8144 or visit www.deltamegatrend.ng plantation city your dream city in nature Welcome back. The program is housing development. In tackling the issue of fraud in real estate and land transactions, the managing director of Federal Housing Authority says his agency is set to go digital soon in order to curb the fraudulent activities of scammers. Scams in the real estate industry in Nigeria are real. In property and real estate, the scammer claims ownership of a property in order to con their victims out of their money. They sometimes proceed to sell out the same property to multiple people, leaving them in confusion as to who legally owns the property. They often present their victims with documents which appears to be genuine, but a fake. In most cases, they exploit the emotions of their victims by telling them how desperate they are to get money into solving an imminent problem such as medical bills, travel expenses and so on. Then the buttress their point by beating down the price of the property to further convince their victims. Speaking on fraudulent activities in real estate transaction, the managing director of Federal Housing Authority, Senator Benga Ashafa, said he will not rest on his oath to get such fraudulent culprits dealt with. Everybody that is in the housing industry, particularly when you are saddled with the responsibility of uh, issuance of documents, there is no way you will wriggle out of you know, all these forgeries and fraudulent acts. I remember my days in the Lagos State Government as Executive Secretary and Permanent Secretary. The internationally renowned Oluwole is still there till tomorrow. And the signature of those who are signing uh, letters and documents, certificates, including that of the governor and the president, you will find it there for a cost. The police are doing their own. But I, I want to get that in any part of the world, you find people who are doing this. They will never change. Ours is not to rest in our cause and ensure that at any point in time when we have to numb them, they get the full weight of the law. Speaking further, Senator Ashafar says FHA is set to go digital on land registration as this will help forestall the activities of scammers. On digitalization, I want to let you know again, by the end of November, we've set the ball rolling. As I'm speaking with you, the vendors who are going to put this thing in place are being processed and profiled through the due process and they are going through the EPA. They've gone through all the processes and then it's just about the end now. And everybody's waiting at this end to see it happen and it will happen. 
Real estate investment in Nigeria is one of the riskiest forms of investment. A minor mistake can lead to losing one's head and money, possibly one's life savings. It is quite possible to find a great deal and most probably you want to act quickly in order not to lose the offer to someone else. But the problem with rushing and buying or renting process is that you have little time to question the real estate transaction. Verify the person you're working with in the real estate transaction. Do not take whoever you're working with at face value. Ensure you do your research about that person. This is the digital age. You are watching housing development. Omar Gano, the chief operating officer of Brains and Hammers, is here to speak more on Brains and Hammers Bungalow City. up as one of the biggest housing estates in Abuja, the Brains and Hammers Bungalow City project sited on 400 hectares of land with a 6,000 housing unit is an affordable housing project designed to cater to the housing needs of middle and low income earners in order to decrease the housing shortfall in Nigeria. Uh, this is Bungalow City, an affordable housing unit built by Brains and Hammers uh, Limited with uh, about 250 hectares of land. Uh, the project is divided into two phases, phase one and phase two. Phase one uh, has about uh, eight cluster, phase two has about a phase cluster. But the project, project commences with phase one, cluster one. We're building 6,000 houses of two and three bedrooms, mainly focused on civil servant and uh, individuals. Our partners are Federal Mortgage Bank, uh, we have investors like ARM and Inverness as well, who have sponsored some project on site. Currently we have about 1,000 houses at various stages of completion. We intend to hand over phase one in actually June, inshallah. Brains and Hammers Bungalow City consists of beautifully designed two-bedroom and three-bedroom detached bungalows with master bedroom and rooms all in suite with high-quality finishings, including boys' quarters and ample parking space for each house for a comfortable and serene living. This is phase one, or we call it cluster one, in our illustrations. Uh, where we are right now is where we have the two bedroom uh, terrace uh, bungalows. Phase one cluster one has about 367 uh, housing uh, units, which comprises of about three different type of houses. Three bedroom fully detached uh, bungalows has about one, uh, 162 housing units. Three bedroom terrace bungalow has about 145 housing units. And then the last is a two-bedroom uh, terrace bungalow has about 66 units. Brains and Hammers Bungalow City is much more than just residential buildings. It is a complete package of commercial, hospitality, infrastructure, and residential development. All the facilities that you can find in any city or any district, like in Wusei Meitama or, or any other location within Nakuja. We're going to have market, we're going to have farmer's market, we're going to have abattoir, we're going to have filling stations, we're going to have fire service, police stations, we're going to have spiritual centers where you're going to have mosques and churches, we're going to have plazas, we're going to have corner shops, yeah, so many um, facilities in the estate. We have um, two set of customers. We have individuals who are self-sponsored. We have um, 
project that is sponsored by FMBN as well. You can subscribe and get a mortgage through FMBN. So the individuals and the general and the mortgage subscribers all fill the form at the first um, 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 activity in getting the houses. You fill the form, we give you an our, um, offer letter. After that, you make initial deposit. Then you decide whether you want to go for mortgage or you want to be self-sponsored. Um, if you're doing self-sponsored, you either you go for outright or you go for the nine months um, payment plan. If you want to go for mortgage, you fill in your form, you pay the necessary contribution, then you, you submit your application to the PMB and they process and get the money back to us. Once that is done, within three to six months, you'll be able to get your house. Subscribers of the Brains and Hammers Bungalow City are given value for their money as Brains and Hammers are dedicated to ensuring that standards are met and on time delivery of projects are maintained without minimizing quality, integrity and utmost client satisfaction. And is a wrap on today's edition of Housing Development. Thanks for watching. Why not keep in touch with us on the social media handles displayed on your TV screen? To watch today's episode and previous ones, you can do that via the YouTube channel Housing TV Africa. I remain Flora Arnie, your Housing Diva. See you soon.